When a 19-year-old tragically dies and people are charged and a family is grieving and the public is outraged, you would expect things to change. You would expect someone to do something meaningful so history doesn't repeat itself. Unfortunately tonight, I can't say that. Max Groover was a 19-year-old freshman at LSU. He was rushing a fraternity. He ingested way too much alcohol, and he died with a blood alcohol level of 0.495, more than six times the legal limit for drivers in Georgia. 11 fraternity members are facing charges, 10 for hazing, one for negligent homicide. LSU then shut down all Greek activity on campus after Max died. But tonight, just four weeks after Max died, the alcohol is once again flowing at LSU fraternities, where about half the members are under the age of 21. And tonight, LSU is supposed to host a task force meeting to help root out the dangerous behavior. Hmm, what could that dangerous behavior possibly be? It's the alcohol, which the university is turning a blind eye to and allowing to be part of student life. This is just irresponsible behavior, not just from the students, but from the universities and the adults who are supposed to be in charge.